I S U P K. All right, Shalom, Israel. This is uh, the ISUPK coming out of One West Harlem, New York. Uh, we've been rocking out this troop since 1969, waking up all blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, all right? That's what time it is on the earth. You understand? It's time for you to wake up. If you black, Hispanic, and Native American, come up out of that sleep that you in. Come up out of America, man. Come up out of that thought process of partying and, and drinking and, and, and living off your lust forever. Come up off of that, man. It's time for that to be dead. Put that to sleep. That's not your lifestyle. That's not your culture, all right? Your culture lies right here within this Bible, man. This is your culture. This is why you were created, to follow and keep the laws of God, all right? I can be like your oppressor. Try to follow and do everything that your oppressor says to do, all right? That's not why you were created. You on the bottom right now because you refuse to follow your power, all right? So us, the priests and prophets, under commanding Johnny Yohannan in the ISUBK, it's our job to come out here and wake our people up, man. Teach our people how not to uh, uh, fall asleep and get rocked to sleep with all the madness that's going on in America, this filthy place that you live in. You can't see what's going on around you. It's, it's our job to, to, to wake, you, wake you up and open your eyes, all right? Come that's on. That's right. In the book of Proverbs, chapter, we're in the book of Romans, chapter 13 and verse 10. Love worketh. No ill to his neighbor. No, no ill to his neighbor, man. Right now, you got MPG Duck. He just died, man. His brother killed him. You understand? Obeying the laws of God will keep you from touching and harming your brothers. You understand? It'll stop what they call the, the, the quote, black on black, so-called black on black crime. You understand? Which really does not exist. Because if you live in a Chinese neighborhood, guess who killing Chinese people in that Chinese neighborhood? Right. Chinese people, right? When you go to the to your oppressor's neighborhood, guess who killing him? Who breaking in his, in his house? His people, you understand? So it's really no such thing as black on black crime, but this is how you stop it, man. By loving your brother. By coming back to the law, statute, and commandments of the Most High God. That's right. All right? Read what you got. God, what God. Therefore, love is the fulfilling of the law. Love is the fulfilling of the law, you understand? Understanding what love is, understanding who your brother is, will stop this oppression, will stop this, this crime that we living in, will stop you from breaking in your brother's car. There's still a goddamn radio. You understand? FBG Duck died over a zip code. Loving your brother will stop all of that. Come on. God on one kind. And that, knowing the time, that now it is high time to wake out of sleep. Knowing the time, it is what? That now it is hot time to wake out of sleep. Seeing what's going on around you, man. Can't you see what's going on on the earth? Knowing the time. Seeing how black people is getting destroyed and beat down and killed for nothing. All right? Knowing the time. Seeing how black people are, are oppressed. All right? We the only people. Now we, now, we not the only people of color. The East Indian is your color. Some Arabs are your color. Look at the filthy, stinking African that come over here from, from Africa. He's your color. But he's not being treated like you. Why are you being treated like this? Knowing the time, it is high time what? Come on, God. That now it is high time to awake out of sleep. Now it is time to wake out of that sleep, man. Come up out of that dream you've been living, man, that, that God loves everybody and everybody's equal. All right? That's a lie. A lie has been told to you, black man. 
They tell you everybody's equal. Meanwhile, you get the crumbs. If everybody's equal, how come we don't get to uh, live like you live it? If everybody's equal, how come everybody gonna get killed by the cops? Is everybody is, since everybody is equal? Come up out of that lie. Come up out of that dream. It's time to stand for your brothers, man. Stand for what the Lord told you to do. It's high time to come out of sleep. Come on. God, my God, for now is our salvation nearer than we believe. Oh, our salvation is nearer than what we believe, man. You waiting on some white man to come hold your hand and walk you through the park? That's not going to happen. You understand? Now your salvation is near, man. Christ is going to come back and crack that sky and put your oppressors to death. That's right. The scripture said that his, his garment will be dripped in blood. Why is that? If he was all love, if everybody could be saved, why is Christ's garment going to be dripped in blood? Why is that? Your salvation is near, man. What is your salvation? Give me Luke, first time. Luke 1 and 67, start there. What is your salvation? Who is this salvation for? That's why we tell you it's high time for you to come out of sleep. Because this salvation is for you. Christ is coming back to get you out of the prisons, man. To wake you up and get you off those drugs, man. Don't get caught doing drugs and being like your oppressor when Christ cracked that sky. You That's understand? Right. You're going to get put to death with everybody else. Now it's time for us to wake up and come out of that sleep. We've been rocked to sleep, man. They put you to sleep here in America, man. Telling you everybody was equal. And the home of the brave and all that garbage. You understand? Right. That, ain't, that don't apply to you, black man. It's time for you to wake up. It's time for you to see what's going on. It's time for you to live and love with your brothers, man. And your sisters, protect your people. Join to your nation. Spend money with your people. That's what it's time for right now. Wake up out of that sleep. Understand, Christ is coming back to save one people. Because only one people needs to be saved. Read. Oh my God. We're in, a Luke. We're in Luke chapter 1, verse 67. And his father, Zechariah, was filled with the Holy Spirit and prophesied, saying, Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Blessed be the Lord God of everybody. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Blessed be the Lord God of the Africans. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. This Bible right here is only talking to one people, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's why I said the God of Israel. It ain't say the God of everybody. You understand? Everybody don't follow your power no way. They can't stand the Bible. They can't stand the laws in the Bible. God said don't eat pork. Everybody rushes to put the pig in their mouth. You understand? Y'all don't love God. Don't look at us like we funny when we tell you what the Bible say. It said, blessed be the Lord God of Israel, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's right, bro. All the people on this side, this is your power. Not everybody. Read. Oh, my God. For he visited and redeemed his people. He visited and redeemed who? His people. Everybody. His people. White people. His people. Chinese people. His people. Africans. His people. His people. The blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. The people you see on this side right here. That's who Christ came to deliver and redeem. Come on. Come on, God. And have raised up in the horn of salvation for us in the house. For who? And have raised up in the horn of salvation for us. For us. Why? Because we the only people that need to be saved. Look around you in 2020 and ask me, who is the people that Christ need to come deliver? Who is the people that Christ need to come back and save? Your oppressor owns everything. Look at downtown. It got his name all over it. You understand? Do Christ need to come back and save this oppressor? Understand that. Shalom, brother. You understand? Christ is coming back to save one people, man. Not everybody. Read. Oh, my God. as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began. And this ain't nothing new that we telling y'all. Like the Bible just says, as he spoke by the mouth of his holy prophets. This is all through the Bible, that Christ is only coming back for one people, the 12 tribes of Israel. That's right. All through the Bible it says the same thing. How the hell in 2020 do you get your Christian preachers telling you that God loves everybody? That's nowhere in the Bible. The Bible doesn't, doesn't talk to everybody. It's speaking to one people. It says the God of Israel. All right? Come on. Verse 70. 
as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies. He spoke by his holy prophets that's been since the world began. This ain't nothing new what we talking. This word that we telling y'all right now has been since the world began. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans is the, cho the chosen people of the most high power. That's right. That's why we are being punished for our sins. That's right. And none else. That's why we are the only ones that need to be saved. Read. God, I want God. And from the head of all their haters. Read that. Read it, read it from the top. Let me hear that, 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 that whole thought. I need to hear that one more time, brother. God, I want God. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he has visited and redeemed his people. He visited the, the, the most high power, the God of Israel, not everybody, visited and redeemed his people. Come on. God, I want God. Say it. And have raised up in horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began that we should be saved from our enemies. That we should be saved from who? Saved from our enemies. Yes, we have enemies. And as you can see, if you just open your eyes and take, and take the illusion of your oppressor off your eyes, you will see that you have enemies. Who's killing you every day, black man? You will see that you have enemies. Who's stopping you from getting to where you want to be? Don't you understand after slavery, black people had, had cities built, all right? We, we, we were a thriving nation, man. You understand? And who came in every time and bombed those cities and stopped your progress? Your enemy did that. That's right. It wasn't your friend. The same man that you're trying to join to right now destroyed Black Wall Street. That's right. Destroyed Rosewood. That's right. Don't you know over there in, uh, in, in, in New York right now where, where Central Park is? That was a black city. That was a black community there. Right. What was it? Seneca Village? Right now, you living in America, they put freeways through your black communities, man, to right. separate you from your oppressor. Right. You understand? There's only one people that need to be saved. And we can see who our enemies are if you just open your eyes. Stop right. loving your oppressor so much. Right. Stop loving this drug so much. Right. Stop loving this TV so much. If you weren't so much in love with this, with this oppressor, you would see who's killing you. Right. You would see who's stopping you from, from uh, progressing. That's right. Read. God, I want God. And from the hand of all the haters. And from the hand of who? Of all the haters. We, we have a hated enemy. Our enemies hate us on this, on this planet right here. That's you right. You understand? And you can tell that they hate us. They show us no mercy. Right. You get old ladies getting killed by the cops. Right. Old lady in New York, man, she... She was crippled, and they still killed her. You understand? He has no mercy on the young or the old. Babies get shot and killed right here in America right. by cops. There was a story about a cop who pulled over a whole family talking about they stole a cop and put the babies in handcuffs. Come on, man. This is a merciless, savage beast that's over the, oh, oh, over the top, that you, that's ruling over the top of Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. He's a savage beast. Take the illusion off your eyes and you can see who your enemies are. You understand? Read. Oh my God. To perform the mercy promised to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant, the oath which he swore to our father Abraham, that he would grant us, grant unto us, that we being delivered out of the hand of our enemies might serve him without fear. And that's why the Lord is coming back, man. He's coming back to show his power, to deliver us from this captivity that we in. That's that right. we might serve him with a, with a gracious heart, a happy heart. Right. You understand? Right now, we're being destroyed here in America. Give me Proverbs uh, 1 and 20. We're being destroyed in, in America, man. Take the illusion off your eyes so you can see who your oppressor is. So you can see who your enemy is. So you can see who the deceiver is, the devil that the Bible speaks of. That's right. Remove yourself from him, man. Separate yourself from him and his way of thinking. All right? Trying to move in his goddamn neighborhoods, man. Loving on him and, 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 and his holidays. Goddamn America. That's right. Read. When the book of Proverbs chapter 1 verse 20. Wisdom crieth without, 
She uttereth her voice in the streets. Wisdom cries without. That's what we doing right now. We spitting straight wisdom to blacks and Spanish and Native Americans. And where, where they do it at? She uttereth her voice in the streets. She uttereth her voice in the streets, and that's where we at right now. We in the streets, man. We ain't trying to build no big, uh, uh, stupid church to try to steal all your money and lie to you. We ain't doing that. We coming straight to the streets with wisdom for our people. Come on. God, my God. Verse 21. She cried in the chief place of concourse. Cried in the chief place. That's where we at right now, in the heart of downtown. Crying out to our people that they wake up. They come out of this captivity that they're living in. Come out of this thought process that they're that they living in. The ideology of God loves everybody. That is a lie. You following this oppressor in his feast days, man. Come on. Come on, God. In the opening of the gates, in the city, she honored her word, saying, How long ye sit? In the opening of the gates, man, wisdom crying. Start at the top, man. That's so heavy, man. I can't even skip over that. Start at the top, brother. We're in Proverbs chapter 1, verse 20. Wisdom crieth without. She uttereth her voice in the streets. Wisdom is crying without right now, man. We out on these streets right now begging our people, man, to come back to the law, statutes, and commandments. Come on. God, oh my God, she cried in the chief place of the concourse. Cried in the chief place, and that's where we at right now. We ain't had it. We in the heart of downtown, man, pleading with our people to come back to the Lord. To wake up and come out of this sin that we living in. Come on. God, oh my God, in the opening of the gate, in the city, the... She uttered her words. Yeah. Opening up the gates in the city. That's where we at right now. That's where the Lord has always put his priest. And that's what we doing right now. And what are we saying to these people? How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? Our goddamn people out right now downtown riding on a goddamn motor scooter drink. What the, what they on? A, a party bike or whatever that garbage is. That's nonsense to the Lord, man. This ain't the time for you to be riding around on some stupid bike getting drunk when your people getting killed. That's right. You understand? How long would our people love this simple lifestyle of being on the bottom and serving your oppressors? Right. You understand? Living out his goddamn feast days and his life. How long would our people love this simple lifestyle? Don't you know that the Lord has way more in store for you? You are kings and priests on the earth. Right. Stop living like a caveman. Right. Stop following cave beasts. Right. These people are savages. And you take up and you follow behind them. You want to be an animal, an animal just like the, your oppressor. You understand? You live off your flesh just like your oppressor. How long will our people love this simple crap that we living in? We getting up going to slavery for another man. That's not the lifestyle that the Lord meant for you to have. How long will our people love this simple garbage? Ain't you tired of being on the bottom? Read. God, oh God, how long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? And the scorners delight in their scorning. And the scorners delight in their scorners, man. And they're scorning. What does that mean? They riding past and mocking us, scorning us and cracking jokes. At, at the men of the Lord. You understand? The scorn is delight in that crap. Looking all stupid. Don't you know the Lord is going to come back and put you to death? The time for that is over with, man. It's time for blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans to come back to the laws of the Most High Power. That's right. Stop living this simple lifestyle in right. this foolish place. Following these simple people. All right? There's more in store for you, black man. You kings and priests on the earth. That's right. It's time for you to understand it and live like it. Right. Put that joke down. Stop living to go to the strip club. Brothers go to go to work all week, man, doing 40 and 60 hours just to get out and go spit it on a whore. Drop that simple lifestyle and come back to the Lord, man. This Bible is all you have. That's right. Black That's right. man, your language, your culture, everything was stripped from you. Stop being happy with the trinkets that your oppressor gives you. Right. I don't want your goddamn handouts. I want mine. Right. Give me what you owe me. Ain't that what Whoop said? Whoop said on Cadillac Records. Give me what you owe me. That's all I want. I want what you owe me. You understand? 
this this BS lifestyle that you giving us, that ain't nothing. You understand? It's time for our people to wake up and come out of that. Trying to find something to follow Had loyalty, every man tried to borrow Felt pain, and a lot of sorrow Got betrayed, so packed I didn't even have my heart broke Living confused, about to lose hope Cops got me on the side of the road Like a sideshow, need an antidote before I croak Now I'm setting fire to rhythm man blues Call this guitar smoke Rebel with no cause, trying to find direction The world got me vexed Picked up a bad lick of habit that's hereditary from oppression Felt like my life was on fire trying to find an exit Now look, 10 G's plus a good wreck Sometimes a follower is a soldier Trying to find a good ship Plus when you in hell, how do you excel? Wisdom the breath of life, I don't believe in fairy tale Listen well to what I tell No calling can cause pain Something that a rebel knows very well can't you tell I was sent from the Lord? 